whenever you're ready, can you just briefly explain what you put together? Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm not prepared. Okay, okay so uh, this is Macamol. Uh, it's a two player game uh, where you can start by pressing the button in the middle and then um, it will increment the score for whoever player that like press the button first and then the button will light up as indication. Yeah, so both players will actually get the same button. So, for example, the, um, the system will actually assign at a random time interval one of these buttons and the other button. So if this one lights up, this will light up first. And to clarify, whoever presses it first gets the point and then it resets. Okay. Yeah. So it's a two-player version of the classic whack-a-mole exactly. arcade game. Okay. Yeah. So you don't lose points for pressing something wrong. Okay. Okay. You just, whoever gets it first gets it, is what it is. And then the screen here in the center is giving some user direction, and then during gameplay, does it keep track of score? So it will actually count down, and then it will actually keep track of both players' scores. So if I get a first, that's P1. If P2 gets a first, that's P2. At a tie, you'll just pick one. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, the game progresses for about 20, 20 to 30 seconds. It becomes okay. Feedback. But once it's over, yeah. Everything lights so. up, and then we can replay the game. And it indicates... Okay. It indicates game finished, the score, and the winner. Right. And then if we want to play again, we push the red button again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So... Can I see a... Do you guys want to play a real game? Oh, yes. We can see it in action? Yes. <laughs> okay. So let's see. <laughs> okay, so we press the red button to begin the game. <laughs> so it's like a random delay for each uh, for each one. Okay, so you don't know exactly when the light will turn on. No. You don't know which light will turn on, yes. but they will turn on symmetrically. Yes. And then the game lasts for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. And then after that time has expired, it indicates that player oh, wow, one has bad. won. <laughs> 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 so all the guts of this thing live inside the box. Yeah, all the a port a port board, all the um, wires um, for the LEDs and the button inputs. Okay. So each button has two uh, has like two like. Uh, signals. One is for controlling the LED, and uh -huh. the other one is for the button input. Uh, and then we use the core expander uh, because we have a lot of pins. I see. So all the all the buttons are being read and driven through the port expander. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 So um, we actually had a limitation because at first what we wanted to do was. The system, well, obviously, reading it has to be done separately. Uh huh. But what we were planning to do was if we wanted to light these two up, we would use two pins to, well, two different, port expander pins yeah, two different to light these up. But we realized that we're going to run out of pins really fast. Okay. So, what we decided to do was use one pin to light symmetrically. So, it has five lighting outputs and then 10 reading inputs. Oh, interesting. Because otherwise okay. we would run out of... Um, yeah. Yeah. So one output pin of the port expander controls two, the lights on yeah, two... Symmetrically. Yeah, symmetrically. And then this one has its own individual pin. Okay. Um, and the buttons are being read through uh, ISR. And uh, ISR itself implements uh, FSM to do the um, button reading. This is uh, pretty much identical to our previous lab. Um, and... There's really just one main um, thread that um, controls the game. Okay. So what it's doing is um, it reads through what state the game the system is in, and if it wants a button press, it just yields until um, the ISR signals that the button was pressed, and then it continues on. And then there's just another. There's one timer thread that's counting, and then there's one thread that's just updating the TFT. Very cool. Very cool. It looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, so the box uh, is like laser-cutted. 
um, and then so we have each hole for the holes for the buttons and then like a slot for the TFT screw and we also have like stabilizing like ones on the corners so that like when you whack it it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> it doesn't, <laughs> yeah it doesn't die. really cool thank you all that's awesome